Welcome back to my channel. For this video, we will discuss test on population proportion, another research-related topic of the senior high school statistics and probability. Again, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. In the previous video, we learned that for large sample size, the appropriate test statistic is Z-test while in sample size is t-test. Since in population proportion, we deal with the large sample size, therefore, z-test is the appropriate test statistic to be used. Let me first inform you about the inferences involving proportions. It is called the P of success for a binomial distribution. Number one, the conditions for a binomial experiment are met. That is, there is a fixed number of independent trials with constant probabilities, and each trial has two outcomes classify as success and failure. Number two, the condition NP is greater than or equal to 5 and NQ greater than or equal to 5 are both satisfied so that the binomial distribution of sample proportion can be approximated by a normal distribution with mu or mean equals np and standard deviation equals the square root of the product of np and q. If the conditions above are met, then the following formulas are to be used. First, z equals p hat minus p all over square root of pq over n, where p hat is the observed or sample population proportion, P is the hypothesized population proportion, and Q equals 1 minus P. The formula for P hat is P hat equals X over N, where X is the number of elements that possess the desired characteristics, and N is the sample size. Example 1, a researcher wanted to test his assumption that 75% of the senior high school students wanted to become a teacher. He collected samples randomly and found out that 25 out of 130 are planning to become a teacher. Compute the value of Z. After we read and understand the problem, let us enumerate the given. The hypothesized proportion from a population or the value of P is 75% or 0.75. The sample size is 25 and the number of teachers who want to become a teacher is 130. To find the Z value, first find the value of P hat, whose formula is X over N. By substitution, we have 25 over 130. If divided, the quotient is 0 0.19. Find also the value of Q, which is equivalent to 1 minus P. By substitution, we have 1 minus 0 0.75, whose equivalent is equal to 0 0.25. Then, find now the value of Z, whose formula is P hat minus P all over square root of PQ all over N. By substitution, we have 0 0.19 minus 0 0.75 all over square root of 0 0.75 times 0 0.25 over 130. After substitution, the general equation to solve is 0 0.19 minus 0 0.75 all over square root of 0 0.75 times 0 0.25 over 130. Simplifying the numerator, 0 0.19 minus 0 0.75 equals negative 0 0.56. 0 0.25 times 0 0.75 equals 0 0.1875 all over 130. Further simplify, we have negative 14.75. After learning how to compute the Z statistic for population proportion, we are now ready to conduct the test on population proportion and kindly follow the following decision rule. If the Z computed value is greater than or equal to the Z critical value, reject the null hypothesis. If the Z computed value is less than the Z critical value, do not reject the null hypothesis. 
The first two decision rules will be applied if the Z computed values are positive. Next two rules, if the Z computed value is less than or equal to the Z critical value, reject the null hypothesis. If the Z computed value is greater than the critical value, do not reject the hypothesis. The last two rules will be applied if the Z computed values are negative. Go back to example 1. A researcher wanted to test his assumption that 75% of the senior high school students wanted to become a teacher. He collected samples randomly and found out that 25 out of 230 are planning to become a teacher. Using two-tailed, test the hypothesis using alpha equals 0 0.0. 0, 0.05. Step 1. Formulate the hypothesis. The null hypothesis or A sub O, the proportion of senior high school students who wanted to become a teacher is equal to 75%. The alternative hypothesis or H sub A, the proportion of senior high school students who wanted to become a teacher is not equal to 75%. In symbols, H sub O, P equals 0 0.75, H sub A, P is not equal to 0 0.75. Step 2, set the level for alpha. From the problem, we know that the value of alpha is 0 0.05. And from the table, the Z value is equal to positive 1.96 and negative 1.96. And this is called the Z critical. Step 3 is solved for the Z statistic. And as we solved that prior to this problem, the value of Z is equal to negative 14.75. Since we have now the computed Z value which is equivalent to negative 14.75, we can now come out to our decision. The computed value negative 14.75 is less than the critical value, negative 1.96. So the statistic lies on the rejection region. The null hypothesis is rejected. And for our conclusion, since the null hypothesis is rejected, there is a significant difference between the sample proportion and the population proportion. The proportion of senior high school students who wanted to become a teacher is not equal to 75%. To continue the video, let us proceed to example number 2. After launching the hand washing and hygiene in school program, the school head believes that more than 80% of the students apply the proper hand washing techniques in school and also at home. A random survey was conducted to 400 students and only 310 of them said that they practice the correct hand washing techniques both in school and at home. Test the validity of the claim using 90% confidence level. Our null hypothesis, the proportion of students who applied proper hand washing in school and home is greater than or equal to 80%. And for our alternative hypothesis, the proportion of students who applied proper hand washing in a school and home is less than 80%. In symbol, A sub O, P is greater than or equal to 0 0.80. A sub A, P is less than 0 0.80. Step 2, determine the level for alpha. Our alpha value is equal to 0 0.05. And the critical value for Z is equal to positive 1.28 and negative 1.28 from the table. Step 3 is solve for the Z statistic or the Z value. First to solve is the P hat which is equivalent to X over N. By substitution, we have 300 over 10 over 400. If divided, the quotient is 0.775. Solve also the value of Q. Its formula equals 1 minus P. By substitution, we have 1 minus 0 0.80 equals 0 0.20. Next, solve for the value of a Z using the formula P hat minus P all over square root of PQ all over 
n. By substitution, we have 0 0.775 minus 0 0.75 all over 0 0.80 times 0 0.20 over 400. Simplify the numerator, 0 0.775 minus 0 0.75 equals 0 0.025. Simplify also 0 0.80 times 0 0.20 equals 0 0.16 over 400. Simplify the whole expression, 0 0.25 all over square root of 0 0.16 over 400 equals 1.25. Since we know already the value of z which is equal to 1.25, we can now go to step 4 for our decision. The computed value 1.25 is less than the critical value 1.28. So the statistic lies on the acceptance region. The null hypothesis is accepted. Since we have now our decision saying that the null hypothesis is accepted, our conclusion will be there is no significant difference between the sample proportion and the population proportion. The proportion of students who applied proper hand washing in school and in home is more than 80%. Again, if this video helps you, please like and subscribe. If you want to help others, please share the video.